It's a once-in-a-lifetime vet experience. Once a year in Malalangwe, Zimbabwe, students from 16 different nations gather to learn from some of the most legendary wildlife vets on Earth. With animal conservation as the bigger picture, it's an intense blend of practical and theoretical training in the use of dangerous drugs to immobilize and capture wildlife. Diverse, professional, truly international, and immensely practical. Capture Wild School is not for the faint-hearted. Well, most of them come here with very little idea what the course holds for them. Get across, get across, get across! Get across! It might seem a bit silly, it might seem, you know, we're playing games. In this episode, the students are given the tall task of capturing a giraffe. Cross it, cross it. Yeah. Yes. Rope's practice is key to a smooth takedown. <laughs> you broke the giraffe. <laughs> Using a combination of ropes, drugs and manpower, Team A must gear up for this extreme challenge. Get across! Look. After all their training, will they succeed? It's a peaceful morning in Malalangwe National Park, but for the students, life is about to get intense as Pete and Chap prep them on giraffe capture. It's a, a thing of, of, of drugs and physical restraint. Uh, coordination is what it's all about. Um, the runners, the person in the vehicle, the person darting. So basically what we're going to do in the next day or two before we go and actually catch the giraffe is just coordinate uh, the vehicle, uh, the the runners and um, just just get us all sort of on the on the same page as to what it takes uh, it might seem a bit silly it might seem you know we're playing games but in fact we you'll see if it does go pear shaped just how badly pear shaped and we've 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 aged badly uh, catching catching giraffe in this um, I have a right shoulder which is gammy because of, of one of the giraffe which which we almost never got here, trying to, trying to slow it down. Um, and then a few of you might be gammy at the end of this as well. We've had these things running through miles. In fact, this is not a very easy place to do giraffe. You can imagine this sort of woodland. Uh, if a thing goes into this woodland, it's not heavily affected and we're trying to follow through here, it can be a real nightmare. I think what we're gonna do is, is just head up to the road there, nice open spot. Uh, basically what it is, dart, the person, the chopper, uh, talks to us, we keep a, a sort of reasonable distance, probably sort of three, four hundred meters with the vehicle. They'll tell us when the, um, the animal is starting to be affected. We'll start easing up, getting close, getting into position with the vehicle. Um, and when the animal has reached that level, which we are comfortable that we can quickly get in with the team and, 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 and restrain it with the ropes, uh, then we, we pull ahead with the vehicle, usually about sort of 60, 60, 70 meters ahead of the, the giraffe. It will usually keep, keep its direction to a large extent. Um, jump out and, uh, and see if we can sort of ambush it with the road. I say ambush, we actually want to run with it. Um, hold it up, catch it high on the chest, run with it and slowly break it, break it, break it and then bring it to a standstill and then cross the rope and have it go down. Why are we doing it? No, why, why, are, we going to, why are we going to why are we going to the effort it. of running after the animals <laughs> and pulling them down? We don't do that with any other species. So why are we doing it with a giraffe? It's so tall, isn't it? No, basically because you're giving it such a massive overdose. Yep. You, we're trying to get it to that animal so we can antidote it as quickly as we can before the drug has taken it too far down. There are a couple of things to consider with these things. You're giving it a massive overdose. You you're suppressing their respiration severely. They're exercising hard. They're running, um, it's, a, it's a big bulky animal to move around. And as soon as that head hit, now hits the ground, you're bringing the blood pressure way up from up there 
and it goes to the level of the heart or below and that blood, the blood pressure in the brain really rises quickly. So it, it throws the, the, all the homeostatic uh, normalization mechanisms into disarray. So we want to try and reverse that animal as quickly as we can. Anyway, it will all be sort of more obvious when we when you start practicing. Uh, yeah, please just do it with vigor, do it with enthusiasm. Um, it does look silly, but it really does does make a huge difference. So. Okay, just let him run a kilometer or two. <laughs> Tire him down. Okay. So he's going to take his wheels off in the vehicle. For training purposes today, Chap has volunteered to be the giraffe and the team sets off on their first capture mission. Guys, all of you there, you will have your heads knocked off. Don't get around the back end of the giraffe. Okay. Just uh, the question here, yeah. once it's down, someone's going to jump on the head, what about the ropes around the leg? Don't Are worry about leave that, it? just get on their head. No, no, right. get on the Stay head. away from the legs. And we can sort just all that out. Plenty of time sort to sort that, that out. That being wild and sometimes unpredictable, Giraffe can do the unexpected. The team must be prepared for anything. It's a wild goose chase for a bit, but then back to the road, quick. This giraffe isn't giving up easily. On his head, Liam. <laughs> okay, that's looking better, chaps. That looks good. Good. If he's changed direction, or well, he's got ahead of you, don't try and outrun him. I mean, if he's just here, like a few meters, and you think you can get around him, fine. But as soon as he's gained on you 25 meters, get on the vehicle, get ahead of him. Okay. I was going to have very tired people. Good. The giraffe is still frisky, and the team need all the practice they can get. Looks like they're beginning to coordinate themselves better. Nice jumping there. Good comms of you guys going around the front. The vehicle stopped too soon. Okay, you got to give, I mean, I'm slower, much slower than the giraffe. But you stop, and you think you got space, but he's way past yeah, you. By the time you've debussed, got yourselves organized, usually it's too late. Yeah. So you want, a, you want a good 70, 80 meters ahead of that yeah. giraffe. Uh, we were just it doesn't, usually thing, keeps its direction pretty well. It's easier to cut across a bit uh, than it is to run it in. Yeah, guys, ropes and bushes. If you're going through a bush, let the bloody thing go. Okay, I had a fellow on capture, very eager, and he held the rope, and the rhino surged forward. White rhino, he actually took the rope and he went around the bush, and went right by its ear, and the rhino swam and ran forward, and he went, and held up his hand, and two fingers were gone. Go and they'd been, yeah, gone. Cheers. And they'd been mashed into the rope, quite neatly. We couldn't find anything. Okay, so don't do it. Don't be here, I just let go. So what, yeah, I think let's just take some, get some shots of the fingers now before. And <laughs> From the tent? Oh. Team, team fingers. Let's go. I'll loop it up. Yep. There's still time for a few more practice runs, and Chap the Giraffe has some tricks up his sleeve. Oh. <laughs> 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 Think about what's happening. Okay, there's a pitfall here. Don't try and stop here. Go Stay beyond on. it, let him go past. Okay. I'll go under, I'll go under. 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 I'll go
The team is now communicating and coordinating much better. Let's hope the practice has paid off as they head back to class for lectures. One of the more interesting and uh, challenging captures. But as far as immobilization goes, we're using a technique which was really developed by Jan Olofsson. And, and that's, uh, and, and many thousands of animals have been caught using this technique. And basically what you do is you polax the giraffe with a very high dose of opioid and, um, and use ropes also to get them down quicker. You're giving a gross overdose of opioid, you're just using the, the chemical, using the drug to get them on the ground uh, and then you've got to antidote them immediately. This is not a steady anesthesia. Uh, this is just using the chemical, get them on the ground, uh, give them the antidote. And luckily with their funny anatomy, uh, with their long neck, it's quite easy even for such a large animal to keep them down if you, um, if you sit in the head and, and, and on the neck. It's the morning of the giraffe capture, and there's a lot of excitement in the air as Team A meets to make the final preparations. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Chaps, take off any shit that, 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 that you're going to lose. Eh? Watch out for your glasses, get rid of any stuff like that. Take your watch off, put it away, anything you're going to lose. Get it off your thing. If you're not going to, if you don't need it, get rid of it now. Eh? Okay, okay, Chaps, get on the vehicle. The students jump on the cruiser for one final warm-up and practice session before the real thing. Brad is the experienced driver, and just to make this training more realistic, the human giraffe has four legs today in the form of Josh and Marcus. Okay, we've stopped him. We've stopped yeah. him. That's fine. Right. Let's just... Okay, we put a wrap down. Okay, guys. Stack your side. Okay. <laughs> 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 you can give the antidote now. <laughs> Something else. Oxygen, eh? Oxygen, yeah. The giraffe is on the run again. Nice. <laughs> That's real giraffe. Yeah. Back legs are so good. <laughs> you broke the giraffe. <laughs> the team is warmed up and it's time for the real four-legged creature. Cobus is tasked with darting the giraffe from the air. John, the helicopter pilot, will stay in radio comms with the cruisers as to the movement and darting of the giraffe. Uh, the bottom end of the airstrip, the two balls, uh, we go from the 401. Uh, we'll bring him into the uh, northeastern edge of the end before we dart. Hold on, guys. The students make their way towards Bunyan, the grassy savanna area where the giraffe are headed. They need to be close at hand to do the roping after the giraffe is darted. OK, so we're going in to dart now. Uh, he's the little guy that's uh, in the front, so we're going in. Copy, we are edge forward. OK, dart then. Thank you. It's going. OK, I'm just going to move away. So this is awesome. He's just standing quietly. Good opportunity for the drug to kick in. Uh, the first we might see is, is that he stumbles quite heavily and that we have to get in fast and, and grab him. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully it's not going to be a big run, uh, but anything's possible. Probably about another sort of 30 seconds or so, the drug will start kicking in. And you'll see it by watching. One of them will suddenly lurch forward, the, the smaller of the two. And that's the excitement phase of the drug as it takes effect. Okay, don't be in three minutes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you might have to make speed. Eh? It's running. Could 
get in. Just think if the giraffe gets into this water. Yeah, that's going to be trouble. Five minutes, that's a, that's a long time for a giraffe. The cruiser in front leads the way through the bush in hope to intercept the giraffe. Giraffe to go down in the Mapani woodland is not ideal with his long neck and legs. It is probable that he could hurt himself on trees or branches as he falls to the ground. The team must get to him as fast as possible. Run, run, run! It's a big relief to see he's unharmed, but there is still pandemonium as Team A quickly gathers the things needed to get his respiration under control. Luckily, before the vehicles arrived, Cobus managed to land with the helicopter and give him the life-saving antidote. So for now, his respiration is fairly stable. But there are other things to tend to. Chap and Pete quickly set to work moving the giraffe's massive body to get the animal's thrashing legs out of the way of the Mapani tree. One, two, three, yes! One, two, three, yes! Okay, one more on the horse. You just stay there, Josh. Okay. Right. You, just, you just, just hold this one. Just anchor it more, on the, more on the back side. Yeah. Rapidly. No, we don't want to pull that's the front. Fine. You just hold it. All right. Listen to me. One, two, three. Good. One, two, three. Good. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. This is where you want to go for the jugular. You can see it's a great big hose pipe. Directly ahead of the, um, the axis here. It's a great big hose pipe. You've got, you know, seconds literally to find it and give your antidote. This is where you want to be, right in there. So you've got a syringe in there? Oh, I've got one. Oh, you've got one? Okay. About that thing. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. You're a vet, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. We want you to go in there and just show everyone. Can everyone see? Okay, so you're going to raise it. It's sitting nicely there. Yeah. It's got quite thick skin. Okay. Okay. okay, take it out. Okay, just to show them the color. The sun. For venous blood, it's not, it's not too bad. Eh? To keep his temperature down, they spray water on him and keep him cool. And this, this sort of age, they're full of beans. Yeah. Not an easy animal to, to, to bring down. And also the dose was, was probably slightly on the low side. 93. <laughs> Okay, 9350, 93 blood oxygen, 50 uh, heart. You don't get better than that. You know, for, for what it's gone through, that's perfect. So this animal is great, but I think we must get out of here now. Prefer that if everyone actually extracts back to their vehicles because we can't have 65 people in this thick bush when this thing starts milling around. Okay. So just the, the giraffe team remain here and we'll withdraw off there. But everyone else, please. Sorry. Yeah, all right, one. Guys, for what it was, it actually went all right. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to do a demonstration for folk uh, in an open area. There's some, you know, being in a, catching in an open area and having people trying to see what's going on is often a little bit tricky. Doesn't matter how much experience you've got, these things grow in perfect proportion. You know, it's like judging Hensbach uh, thing. Unless you've got a, an adult cow to judge against, 
um, it can be very tricky. So adult, if you put you put that animal against an adult cow, that's a 12 milligram dot. But uh, this animal looks significantly smaller than his mate, mm. and uh, you know anyone could have done that. So he was a bit strong. I think we learned a lesson about running in that in that thick uh, uh, like bunion. It was like exactly it was like running, running in mud. <laughs> um, he came in here. Luckily, we had good comms and um, we were called in. Yeah, and I mean, it's, you've got ad hoc. I mean, what you did was perfect. That's why you had the antidote. You got in quickly. You sorted it out. So that's perfect. I just kept okay. my hands over his eyes as well yeah. while I was trying to keep yeah. him down. Well, no, get that antidote in. Don't ever, ever hesitate to give that antidote in. Back to the rest of the students for a debrief. So we, we got ahead of the giraffe about 80, 100 metres. Um, we all the teams jumped off the vehicle. We got in front of it, put a rope around the front legs, across the front legs, and attempted to slow him down. But he had a bit of steam still, so couldn't quite keep up. Long grass was, was a bit challenging to run in, and uh, we just eventually, I, I, I was trying to slow down. I wasn't keeping up with the giraffe. The rope got a bit uneven. David got quite close to the giraffe, evacuated, bailed. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was I was not far behind him on the floor, um, and then it all sort of fell apart. So and and we we're getting pretty close to the tree line. So we don't know if we would have been too successful in there. The problem we had was as soon as he went down, the ground crew wasn't anywhere close by. So John dropped me off and, and I ran as quick as possible, and I reversed it with with uh, Trexanol, uh, immediately IV. When I got to the animal, I was actually concerned. Um, when I had a look at him, he, I thought he was uh, he was dead. He wasn't breathing at all. There was no no real signs of, of, of life. So I immediately sort of just tested an IV flex quickly and then, then I gave him the trexanol IV. And oh, it wasn't seconds and he was much better. When the thing went into the Morpanians, we had to take a quick decision. We could see it was running out of steam. And I had a pretty good idea. It only had maybe another two, 300 meters max. So we could have just kept on running on the ground. And it was very tempting because everyone was already on the ground. But I think it was the right call. Uh, you know, the, 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 main, the main road wasn't too far away. We could get around. Uh, it could have gone on for another kilometer or two. So I think it was the right call to get back on the vehicle to go around. As it turned out, it did trip down, but uh, Kubus was right on it. Uh, but you've got to make a quick call sometimes. And what you, what you mustn't have is everyone doing their own thing. So if you make a call, do it, stick with it, and try and make a success of it. I think that we had no choice but to go in and, and rope him when we did. He was still quite strong. And by the time we actually did get in there, he was on a downhill slope and they, they're notoriously difficult in those situ situations. Mm -hmm. So all in all, lots of room for improvement, but I'm glad the guys coordinated and at least communicated fairly well throughout the exercise. In the next Extreme Capture episode, students have the practical experience of darting a massive bull elephant. It's more of a delicate procedure than expected for such a large creature. Chap shares with us about another interesting elephant darting experience he had recently. And a surgical operation required on one of the park's lions provides a fascinating learning experience.